calculate the volume of the shape below. I've said this in previous lessons. When they say vol when they give you volume, you must smile because volume is the easiest that you can ever get. Um, they don't try to catch you out with volume. It's only surface area where they can catch you out. Although if I look now, they oh, but they did say that it's a sphere, but they've given us here a hemisphere. So you luckily they didn't try to catch you over there. Okay, um, so with volume, you literally just add the two volumes. Or the th oh, there's three shapes here. Uh, oh, they haven't given us the formula for a cylinder. Okay, but it's just going to be the cone, which they have given us. Thank you very much. And the hemisphere, which we'll just have to modify that over there. And then the cylinder you'll need to know from memory. Um, so let's see. Let's start with the cone. So volume of a cone is a third pi r squared times h. Whenever you see a third, it's always a pyramid kind of shape, a shape that comes to a point. So as soon as you have a, something that does that, the volume formula always has a third in it, um, or one over three. I'm not talking about this one over here. I'm talking about specifically one over three. Okay, Kev, too much talking. Let's get focused. Okay, so it's going to be um, a third times pi. Now the radius, well, you could use this length here as eight, but that's the diameter. So you just want half of that. So it'll just be four. Okay, squared. Now for the height, it's not going to be seven. Can you see that this this line is going from there, and then it's going to the end of here. So that's the that's the slanted height. That's this part. Uh, oh no, we don't use the we're not doing doing surface area, but that's the slanted height. These sneaky guys. So what we have to do is make a little triangle now. So make that line go to the middle, and then make a line going up. So from the side, it would look like this where this is the seven, and then we need to find that height over there. It's the height going from the middle of that circle up to the top. So we need to know this length. Now that length is just going to be four. Why do I say that? Because this is a circle, and if you go, and we know that the diameter of that circle is eight. So if you go from the middle, then it would only be four centimeters, okay? And so we could then use Pythagoras to find this length over here. So we could do a side calculation over here. Let's just do it here. So we could say that the height of the cone is going to be squared, is going to be 7 squared minus 4 squared, which is then going to be 33. So then you could square root 33, and that'll give us square root 33. I'm going to leave it like that because that's not a final answer. So I'm going to keep it as that. So let's just go square root 33. And is that everything? Yes. Okay, so let's go work that all out now. 96.25 centimeters cubed. Okay, now we're going to go do the, let's go do the hemisphere. So they've given us a sphere, but that's just uh, double a hemisphere. So you can just divide this formula by two. So if you say four over three divided by two, it's actually going to be two over three. So the volume of a hemisphere but if you've gone over all the previous videos where I go over the earlier grade, the basics, then you wouldn't have to guess that in a test. We wouldn't have to be unsure. You would know, you would remember that a hemisphere has a two over three. So you'd say two over three pi r cubed, which is going to be two over three pi times the radius, which is four cubed. And that'll give us 134.04 centimeters cubed. Now it's the cylinder. Now they haven't given us the formula of a cylinder, but remember that volume is area of base times height, okay? So the area of your base is going to be a circle. So the volume of a cylinder is the area of the base, which is a circle, and then you just multiply that by the height, like that. That is the formula for the volume of a cylinder. So that's just going to be pi times the radius, which is 4, times the height, which is 10, and there we go. And that'll be 502.65 centimeters cubed. So the total volume is then just going to be 96.25 plus 134.04 plus 502.65, and that'll be... That'll be... Sound like sound like Shrek from Shrek. Oh well, yeah, sound like Shrek from Shrek. It makes sense. That'll do, donkey. That'll do.
I'm not sure if you guys have watched Shrek, but I remember watching it when it came out in 2001. I think it was 2001. I was like grade one or no, I think I was like grade R. And they took us to the cinema. It was so awesome. 732.94. 732.94 centimeters cubed.